What's up everyone, my name is Nagark. Welcome back to Planet Base. We are still working on getting more expansion do stuff done. I know I keep saying that I need to backlog some metal and stuff, and I'm kind of trying to, but right now I just finally got a water tank after a lot of people weren't happy with me for not getting one. And you can see, it, even now it's like barely charging up. So I, I really think that I want another water extractor. This should be helping with my food mild crisis. Before I build the water extractor, I'm going to see how I'm doing with food. I think we're going to be getting some more basic meals out of this, sadly. Yeah, I think we're just going to be getting some basic meals out of this. But I think that's alright for right now. People are heavily working on making bioplastic just because we have so much of it available. My storage is pretty much full, so some stuff just isn't being taken out. We did trade for a carrier bot, though. We have that little guy. So he's he's carrying some things around for me, which is really good. Oh, yeah, we, we have... We're having a lot of injuries in the mine. Hey, I can fit five beds in there. Anti-meteor laser still doing amazing for me. I love that thing. I love that guy. I'm just placing five beds preemptively. I mean, I may as well. I have... I have the bioplastic, but I'm not being frivolous with my bioplastic like before. I've, I have learned from my mistakes, I assure you. And this gingerbread candle still smells amazing, even with my stuffy nose. So water tank, for right now, I'm okay. Until I build more plants in here, I'm okay. So let's start working on looking at getting this 4-4 storage. That's what I'm thinking of next, so they don't have to make this long trip out here. And also I will be getting... I need to get an airlock. So what if... let me just place this down really quick. If I build that here, can I get an airlock? I can't get an airlock off of this. Not really comfortably. I could get one off of the storage. Well, this is going to attach up right there for right now. Just so I can see. There's like one spot right here that I've been kind of good with, like right here. Yeah, let's build that and recycle that. We're getting the airlock first. Ooh. Ooh, because if this gets hit, or this gets hit right now, all of this goes out. So I think I need... I know, I'm building a lot. I'm building a lot, but this only takes two metal, two bioplastic right now. That's not that bad, considering I have two metal. This will take one metal, one bioplastic. Or just one metal. But to get that redundancy, it's worth it. Because, like I said, if this gets hit, or this gets hit... All of this goes out. Or if this gets hit, both of these go out. It would have been a mess. So now if this gets hit, all of this is fine. Everything is fine. If this gets hit, it's all still fine. If this gets hit, these two go out, but that's okay for right now. It's not terrible. And it was probably just because I didn't have someone manning that. And now you can see that my food, my vegetables are really high. Um, But... I have so much wheat right now that it's kind of sad because I'm making basic meals. That's not really what I wanted. And if that keeps being an issue, I will deconstruct one of these wheat pads and make it into a mushrooms. But I built this because I intend for all of it to go in here and then have the lab right here that makes vitro meat to go into the canteen right here that will make burgers. So I kind of threw my base a little bit out of whack, but I think it's better for them to eat basic meals and me fix them up with medicinal supplies than for them to not have food. I, that's my logic right now, is it's better for them to have food even if it isn't good food, because I can still fix them. Mm-hmm. That's the theory. We finally have an airlock out here. So anything that I build over here, they can get to. <laughs> You know what, uh, maybe I built a few too many of these for the amount of 
people that I have right now. It's like super good for my starch. It's having a meal. Are these? Yeah, we're gonna make uh, pasta off of this one. But you can see a lot of wheat in there. A lot of wheat in there. And it's still not being filled up to the point that it's constantly being worked, so I don't think I need another one of those. So I kind of have to wait for my metal processor to kick out some more metal. My water tank is doing okay. Let's check power. Let's see what we're ending at in the middle of the night. This is what I'm going to be looking at. I'm going to pick up my candle and sniff it. Mmm. Mmm, gingerbread. A uh, trading ship has landed. Let's check it out really quick. Some ore might be worthwhile. The only thing I would really want to trade off is my starch. Because I have a lot of starch. And that's sort of clogging up my storage right now. Yeah, this is going to take people off of their work, but getting four ore I think is going to be worth it. Yeah. Plus I have a carrier bot, so one of those starches will be carried by a bot. See? There he goes. CR2. Yeah. And I do still want the bot facility. Oh, you went out hungry. Eh. Hank Raber. Why did he go out of this airlock to come in this airlock? Why would you do that? Now he's going to get a meal. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore you. Power storage is low. Yes, that's exactly what I was just looking at. 5.7k, so we are going to be looking at more power storage. Because it's hitting cap every night. And I'll even watch it to make 100% sure. I'm going to be watching this. This, when it gets close to the end, I'm going to be watching. How is my water grid? Generating 8... Or produces 10, generating 8. No, pff, producing 10, using 8. Sorry. My brain just, like, didn't didn't do the words. Nice, pastas. We need some more mushrooms in there, though. Um. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, because it's because of this. But again, that's... That's just part of the growing pains right now. We have a good amount of ore now. We are going to stop making spares and semiconductors very soon. And now, how's our power doing? Um, ah, uh, they're fixing those up, okay. It looks like I need more power generation too. I think I just need more of both. Yeah, I'm not going to hit 35k by the end of the day. So, let's look at my metal. We have three. Three metal, I think I can go with a four. I don't think I can go with a seven. I think a four for right now is A-OK. -okay. And remember, I'm treating this lab as a dead end. You know what? It may not be bad to make meat in here. Because of all of the wheat that I have, just a little bit of meat right now would make pastas and burgers. So I might... It just takes a thing. Let's try it out. I don't think there will ever be a time that they make just... They make, um... How am I trying to say it? That they make basic meals if I do this. And plus, these are worked by engineers, which I currently have five of. And the only jobs that my engineers do are currently building, carrying, and spares and semiconductor foundries. And, well, the one that I have dedicated to this. But just stopping by and checking on that every once in a while, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I think having that meat there will be really good. We're going to attach you up, not right there, right there. So that's five metal. But that's going to be 50 kilowatts worth of power. Yeah, because we are not hitting our cap right now. We are not hitting our cap. Water is still concerning, but I do have a buffer now. 
Yeah, look at this. Water fluctuated a bit too, so our buffer is going down. But it didn't fluctuate enough that it's really going down fast like my power is. And again, no wind. Remember, can't build wind. I swear, if anyone yells at me for not building any wind, I'm gonna... I cannot wait. I will put... I will do something, I don't know, but I will laugh so hard at that person if anyone makes fun of me for not building wind. I'm, I'm like, I've been anticipating that comment for the past three parts, and it hasn't come, and I'm actually kind of, I'm pretty happy about that. So we need two more metal. Uh, do I have a metal currently? No, I do not. Hmm. I can trade a little bit of starch for some coins. Just, that's what I have a surplus of right now, so I will get just a few little coins off of that. And that's totally fine with me. Also, I'm trying to get some stuff out of my storage here. Hey, we're using the airlock for its appropriate, appropriate thing. We aren't just walking around the base. And both of these are making chicken, because burgers can be... Can be made out of chicken. If we look here. Um, wheat and chicken is burger. Now, is there a chicken and a mushroom? Chicken... No, chicken and mushrooms do not work together. But it looks like we got some pastas here. We still have the wheat thing. And if I knew I was going to do this, I probably should have built all of this over here. I just didn't know that I was going to do that. Uh, I'm really, really not super happy with what I just did. I mean, it's okay. Let me think. Do I want to get rid of this and bring it back over here? If I do that, I want the storage to be bigger. And I, by saying want, I mean I need that storage to be bigger. Am I willing to deconstruct the storage for a bit? Yes, I know. Power... We're about to go through the night. Just don't worry. Like, it looks bad. It's not that bad. Okay. So now an engineer is going to come on out. And he's going to build that up for me. Engineer? There he is. And... More power. Good. So, my power should be charging up quite a lot more than it was. I'm glad I caught that early on, because that could have been tragic. Now, back to considering this. If I deconstruct this, I don't know where any of this stuff is going to go. I have no idea what they're going to do with all of this. I think it'll just be thrown on the ground. And if that gets thrown on the ground, I will not be able to build in this area. It just will, will not let me because there's stuff in the way. So do I need to make another storage for them to move everything to another storage for me to rebuild right here? Basic. Or do I want to just, like, nix the vitro meat thing? I think the vitro meat thing is fine. I think it's just a matter of getting it over here that's kind of complicated. That one was a basic too. Yeah, and again, it's because of my wheat. I know it. I know exactly what I did. That one was pastas. No, that was basic. Oh. Um, you know what, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna deconstruct this storage. I'm gonna continue with my plans, and if this just doesn't work out with the meat, I'll just get rid of it. There's no shame in experimenting. Itching my ear, though. Here we go. You're gonna be attached right there, so that is five metal, five, uh, bioplastic, which I currently have. Again, I know, I'm... Trying not to, not not to spend too much, but my spares are fine. My medicinal plants are doing good. 
Like, I'm not in a tragic area right now. It's currently night, and I have a lot of power charged up. Um, some ore would be good. 50% commission. What if I do four ore? And seven years ago. Terrible, terrible joke. A semiconductor is 40. Which is made from a bioplastic and a, and a metal. That's pretty good. And two starch? Oh, sorry, four starch. No, I think I can just trade more starch, to be entirely honest. And we can see that seven of my bioplastic is currently being used. So let's be a little bit more careful with that. Let's do some vegetables, because it's probably going to trade all my wheat. To be entirely honest, it's just going to get rid of wheat. And that's a pretty big trade. That's 12 things that they have to move. So 12 people are going to have to go back and forth. Which you can see currently happening. They're all leaving their job to do that. They're all leaving it. But once the storage is built, we are going to be able to get rid of some of this and piling up stuff, and more wheat's gonna be over here. How's my meals doing? It's- oh, we, we got some pastas. We are getting some pastas, still, which is good. It creates the variety between basic and all of that. This airlock. Gosh, if I could just build another airlock right here. And my prestige is 61. So I'm still not entirely concerned for it. And this will get attached up event- oh no, it, it can't. It said that it could, but it can't. Whatever. And then the next thing will be the lab over here, which will be probably a 2-2. I'm not building it right now, I'm just showing off what I'm gonna do. So the lab, the canteen, maybe like a dorm here and a dorm here, because I do need more beds. And it might even be like the lab here, dorm here, Bed, bed, something like that. You keep going, Anti Meteor Laser. You are the hero. This still isn't being used 100% of the time. So, when I was making meal makers before, it was insane. Oh, this is gonna make a burger. Watch. Yeah, burgers. Nice. That's working out well. So far. Because, remember, uh, it tries to balance out using meat and vegetables. So it will try to... And this, this trip sucks. I know. It's not perfect. By any means, but... It's okay. It's working out. For right now. I think what I need first, out of everything, is the canteen. And this one will be a bigger canteen. What if... What if I don't put the meat in storage? What if I just attach it to this? Is that a thing that I should do? I could. It might... That's not bad. It may not act as a dead end, but I don't think I need it to be a dead end if I'm just gonna be... Like, it's- the building is not a dead end. The lab is not a dead end. So I don't have to treat it as a dead end. I'm just doing it sort of as a courtesy to, like, stuff being placed on the walls because it gets really annoying with connections. But I could just have more like, stuff connected to it, and just be careful with it. Alright, is my mine being fully used? It is not, so I'm not concerned about building another mine quite yet. But, when that time comes, it's probably going to be... right here-ish. Maybe right here. Like, there's areas that I could do it over here, it's just not great. 
Look at all that stuff being stored up. We've got a ton of vitro meat storing up over here now. Just kind of good because it's gonna help when I get this canteen up. And what are we missing right now? We're missing one metal. Power storage is low, you say. Ah. So let me let me do what I was doing before and watch till the end of the day to see what what state I get to. And also, it's time for more water. After the canteen is more water and possibly more power storage. It's really hard to build up a backlog of supplies as I'm proactively like working on getting things done. But we got pastas, we got more pastas. This is sort of evening itself out now. A little bit. There's some basics still. Storage has no oxygen, probably because it was just this just got built. Okay, now end of the day. Are we hitting cap? I think we are. We are hitting cap. So we need a power collector or a battery. We need water. We need to start building stuff in this canteen. And we need a dorm. Or a cabin. A dorm. Certainly a dorm. Probably a 4x4 four four dorm. But we do need a dorm. This guy is injured. My medical supplies aren't really going up. I don't think I have a limit on them. No. So that's something that I'm going to be looking at as well. It's probably just a long trip or, you know, two medics doing everything isn't getting everything done. There we go. We're getting a burger out of this. Nice. So there we go. Less malnutrition risk. They're still getting some basics, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. My entire base might just be pasta and burgers. That sounds like a good base to me, to be entirely honest. Let's, let's do a pasta and burger base. Okay, so... Water... Can I risk letting that go until I get another power collector? I think I can. Power collector, I think, is just way more important. And we're gonna throw that probably right here. You know what, actually, eh, let me look at the trading ship really quick while I think. 560. 40% commission. Pretty good. I have 26 coins. What I might do is just trade for some of his coins. Because they don't have bots. Which is something that I, would, that I would want. 105 for all of that metal. This is a big trade. This is a very big trade. Am I willing to let everyone get off of their jobs for long enough to do this? For 5 metal. I think because it's starch and vegetables and those are produced in such large batches, it's worth the amount of time that people are going to be taking off their jobs to do this. I think it's worth it. Also, it's going to clear out some of this ugly storage. I'm like 100% full on that one, 50% full on this one. It's pretty crazy. Is this currently always being worked now? Not really. It's not always being worked. So I'm not concerned about getting another meal maker in here. Not concerned about it. These are just doing more vegetables out here. And that metal is going to be really good because I have quite a bit of things that I need to expand to. Power storage is low, yes, but we are hitting day. So like I was saying, power collector, we are going to put it out here, and let's attach it up right there for right now. So we still have people going through this airlock. What I'm going to be doing, just so you know my plans for the future and how landing, landing pads are going to work, it's going to be something like a control center with all of the guards and their control center things. It's going to be two airlocks coming out of it, and then the, the starport and the landing pads all in a big area. That's how I'm going to be doing the landing pads in the future, because it's going to allow the traffic for trading, 
it's going to allow the traffic for intruders, and they're all going to go directly into my my trap card, essentially. So now we should have enough power storage. We need water. I cannot neglect water anymore. I still want to build over here so bad. That's killing me that I can't. Am I going to keep this as a dead end? I'm going to say yes. I am going to say yes, that is going to remain as a dead end. One really bad thing is if this this ever gets hit by an anti- uh, or a anti-meteor laser. Yes, if I shoot myself with an anti-meteor laser. If this gets hit with a meteor, then this goes out, this goes out. Nothing else really goes out. Because these are all connected up over here. It's just scary. But there we go, we are getting a water extractor. And maybe another water tank at some point, kind of soon. But not incredibly soon. So we have some, a lot of wheat here. Like a ton of wheat. What I'm thinking is maybe doing more mushrooms here. And two more medicinal pads. And then the burger, the meat makers over here as well. It's kind of what's going through my head right now because they work so well together. Carrier bot. I'm getting you. Let's trade more vegetables because they're all... We know they're all wheat. Let's be entirely honest. We know they're all wheat. This is 20 things that I'm going to be trading. The question is, do I want to let 20 people do that? Can I afford 20 people doing this trade? Give me a coin. 21, technically. 21 back and forths from storage all the way over there. It's concerning. But I can afford it. I can afford to do that. Carrier bots. The more carrier bots we get, the less this is an issue. To be entirely honest. And I know I still want the bot facility. I still want a lot of things. I'm going to need to expand to more people pretty soon. I'm going to need to get this canteen up. I'm going to consider doing the meat thing over here and all of that. That's that's all my list of things to do. There's a lot to do. There is a lot to do. I feel like I'm doing okay with malnutrition over here, but I think it's time to start letting in more people in the next episode. But that's going to wrap it up for this part. This is Planet Base. My name's Nagark, and thank you for watching.